Hello, my name is Anastasia Volkova. I am Cisco TAC engineer. In this video, I will show you how to join your ASC to the Active Directory and some basic steps in AD troubleshooting. In order to join ASC to the AD, we need to go here, External Identity Sources, Active Directory, and add the new connection. Here, the joint point name is just a name that will be displayed in ISC. You can type anything here. And AD domain should be the domain name you want to join. This name should be resolvable by your DNS server. Here we can decide if we want to join all ISC nodes to the Active Directory or only the current one. And now we have to enter the AD administrator credentials. This account should have permissions to create machine accounts in the Active Directory. If everything goes fine, we will see green operational status here. In general, these steps are enough to authenticate your users from the Active Directory. However, if you want to use any AD group-based conditions in your policies, you have to retrieve those groups first. You can do it here, in the Groups tab. Here you can retrieve all the groups and then choose the necessary ones. or you can use a group name as a filter. So we add the necessary groups and save the configuration. Starting from ISC 1.3, you can join several active directories at the same time. What issues you might have during this procedure? First of all, you cannot join Active Directory. The first thing you need to check is if the domain name is resolvable by your DNS and if domain controllers are reachable. You can do it from CLI by running NSLOOKUP command. Here you will see the list of the domain controllers and you can them, for example, to check the connectivity. If you try to join the Active Directory that is not reachable, you will see an error. We can try to join some wrong AD and see how it looks like. Here you can see the node status failed, and if we open the details, we will see the exact error failed to find the domain controller. We can manage the AD list here and delete the unnecessary connections. Another possible error is insufficient admin accounts permissions. As I mentioned before, this account should have permissions to create machine accounts, otherwise ISC cannot join AD successfully. And also, it is important to have time synchronized on ISC and Active Directory. If you have big difference between them, you might also have issues with joining Active Directory. Also, there is a very nice tool for troubleshooting called Test User. If you run a test for some user from the AD, you can see here the authentication result and also groups and attributes associated with this user. If there are any issues with this particular account or with communication between ISC and AD in general, 
you will see here more detailed information so you can check at which step you fail. Also you can find AD diagnostic tool here. It allows to run some tests in order to check communication between the particular ISC node and Active Directory. You can select some specific tests or run all of them. And then you will see if there are any issues in your deployment. You can also view the details of every test. So this tool can be also used for the basic troubleshooting steps. Thank you for watching my video on ISC and Active Directory integration, which included AD joining process and basic troubleshooting steps. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified when future videos are posted, please subscribe to our channel below.